With the gastric bypass, we create a small pouch at the top of the stomach about the size of an egg using a stapling device. Uh, this ensures that when you eat and fill up this pouch, you will rapidly fill it up to that top portion of the stomach where again signals are sent to the brain uh, and you feel full and you're no longer hungry. Um, the second way that it works is that excluding the other portion of the stomach where the hormone ghrelin is produced, is produced causes that hormone level to decrease significantly so that there is less appetite and there is less hunger in general. Uh, the third way that it works is that we reroute the bowel. Reroute the, rerouting the bowel creates a scenario where the food coming from the stomach does not have any digestive enzymes in it coming down that limb of bowel. The rest of the digestive enzymes from the other part of the bowel um, come down without any food. So not until the portion of the bowel where both of these meet do you completely digest the food that is eaten and have it uh, absorbed. So this creates some malabsorption. So in essence, there are three ways in which the gastric bypass works. It restricts the amount of food that you can take. Number two, it reduces that hormone ghrelin that is responsible for hunger and appetite. And number three, by rerouting the bowel, we're creating some malabsorption uh, so that not all the nutrients that is consumed is completely digested and absorbed. Because we are bypassing that portion of the stomach that has the pancreas that is responsible for producing insulin and diabetes, uh, patients who have a gastric bypass can experience resolution or significant improvement in their uh, diabetes right away after the surgery without having lost any weight. Uh, in addition to this is the effect on the diabetes when they do lose weight. So we are sort of addressing the diabetes uh, in two ways. Bringing the small loop of bowel that we reroute up to that small pouch that we create acts like a sump because the loop of bowel is always peristalsing, always sucking things away. So the, the gastric bypass turns out to be a cure for patients who have um, gastroesophageal reflux.